Hello, and welcome to Art Minutes. I'm Patricia Tomlinson, curator at the Appleton Museum of Art. Today, I would like to introduce you to the work of Anne Noggle, a gifted photographer and an accomplished person in many different areas. Let's first talk about her art, and then I will talk about her many accomplishments. When we look at this photograph, we see a woman in the middle of the picture plane with the just visible tail of an aircraft behind her, and then further back in the distance, we see a jagged peak of a mountain or some type of outcrop of land. One of the most wonderful things of all in this photograph is that Anne herself was piloting the plane, took a few moments to photograph herself while flying. When you look at the background, you instantly recognize that this is the desert and extinct volcanoes that are off to the west of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Another aspect of this photograph that really stands out is this is a very unflinching view of the artist herself as a mature woman. You see wrinkles on her face and you see signs of age. So she really takes a very clear-eyed look at herself She was 60 years old at the time, and she was very interested in documenting the truth of what the aging process was all about. In addition, she also had previous self-portraits of herself after various facelifts and things that weren't always necessarily considered flattering, because she was really kind of after the truth of what she looked like, not this glamorized, fictitious aspect of what a woman looks like at 60 years old. Another thing that makes this photograph so striking is there is sort of a tension there regarding her being up in this plane, moving probably at a pretty good speed while taking a photograph of herself with this very unforgiving mountain in the background. If if she should do anything wrong, for example, she could crash. So she's actually taking her hands away from steering the plane to shoot this portrait, which I think is really amazing. And the fact that she's at an angle compared to the mountain as if she is ascending somewhat also adds to the tension of this. It's a really dramatic and somewhat heart-stopping view that she has obtained, of course, that can only be done in flight. As I mentioned previously, Anne Noggle herself is a very fascinating person. She was born in 1922 in Illinois, and as a young woman, received her pilot's license when she was not even out of high school. After receiving her pilot's license, she became a flight instructor, and when World War II arose, she became a woman's Air Force service pilot, commonly known as WASP, during World War II. After the war ended, she continued her employment with the Air Force and was stationed in Europe. And that's really where her love and interest in photography started to manifest. She had a camera. She started experimenting with taking different views of what she saw abroad. And that really kind of sparked her interest in pursuing photography. Another reason why she started photography is, sadly, she could no longer fly. She was also a crop dusting pilot in the United States, and unfortunately, the toxic chemicals did not do well with her body, and she had to give up flying professionally. So photography really kind of replaced flying as her primary passion at this time. Noggle also mentioned how flying and photography to her were somewhat similar. One had to be very responsive, one had to be flexible if unforeseen things arose, and of course you have to be completely in command of your instrument, whether it be a plane or a camera. After her time in Europe with the Air Force, Noggle settled in New Mexico and decided to pursue her photography formally with degrees and eventually earned her master's degree in 1970. Very quickly, she was hired as the first curator of photography at the New Mexico Museum of Art, and she also was working at the University of New Mexico as a professor. 
all while continuing to make her own art. She also authored three different books on various photographic subjects and was really a very interesting dynamic person in her own right. That's why it's important to highlight these female photographers who many people may have never heard of, yet are very important in the canon of art photography. Thank you for listening, and I look forward to sharing more Art Minutes with you soon. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.